In the previous video, we've shown you guys a comparison of the deadly US fighter F-22 Raptor and the Russian Sukhoi Su-57. If you haven't seen it, the link is provided right here. Today, we'll be showing you guys somewhat related to that, that would be the F-35 Lightning II versus the Chengdu J-20. So let's have a look who would be victorious in a battle between the two. The F-35 Lightning II is a family of single-seat, single-engine, all-weather, stealth, multi-role combat aircraft developed by Lockheed Martin for ground attack and air superiority missions for the U.S. Air Force. While the Chengdu J-20 is a single-seat, twin-jet, all-weather, stealth fifth-generation fighter aircraft developed by China's Chengdu Aerospace Corporation for the People's Liberation Army Air Force. The unit cost of F-35A Lightning II is 82.4 million US dollars in a low-rate initial production LRIP. This is quite less compared to the Chengdu J-20, which costs for about 120 million US dollars in LRIP. As for the sizes, the F-35A is quite less compared to the J-20, both in length and in wingspan. Measuring 15.7 meters and 11 meters, while the J-20 measures 20.4 meters and 13.5 meters. There's no doubt that the weight of the F-35A is less compared to the Chengdu J-20. Even the maximum takeoff weight of the former is only 31,751 kilograms, while the latter is 37,013 kilograms. The F-35 Lightning II has a fuel capacity of 8,278 kg, while that of Chengdu is 11,363 kg. Now, let's talk about power. The F-35 is powered with a single Pratt & Whitney F-135PW100 afterburning turbofan, and the J-20 is powered with a pair of WS-10B or AL-31FM2 and a pair of Shenyang WS-15 afterburning turbofans. Now, with this power, the F-35A can travel up to a speed of Mach 1.6, while the J-20 travels at a speed of more than Mach 2. When it comes to range, the Chengdu J-20 can travel more distances compared to the Lightning II, with a difference of 3,200 kilometers, and that is a lot. Even the service ceiling as well, the Lightning II can fly at a maximum altitude of 15,000 meters, while the J-20 can fly about 20,000 meters. In those general performance, I think the J-20 has an advantage. But what about the armament? While the F-35 is armed with General Dynamics 25mm GAU-22A barrel rotary cannon and it can carry six external pylons on wings and two internal bays with a total weapons payload of 8,100 kg. Air-to-air missiles include 14 AIM-120 AMRAAM, 2 AIM-9X Sidewinder, AIM-132 ASRAAM. Air-to-surface missiles include AGM-88 AARGM, AGM-158 JASM, Spare 3, Joint Air-to-Ground Missiles, Joint Strike Missiles, and SOM. Anti-ship missiles include long-range anti-ship missiles. The F-35 can also carry bombs like Mark 84, MK-20 Rock I-2 Cluster Bombs, MK-77 Incendiary Bombs, Wind Corrected Munitions Dispenser, Pavoy Series Laser Guided Bombs, Small Diameter Bombs, Joint Direct Attack Munitions Series, AGM-154 JSOW and the B-61 Mark 12 Nuclear Bombs. And that is a lot of weapons there. While the J-20, on the other hand, can carry four underwing pylons capable of carrying drop tanks. Internal weapon bays include PL-10 short-range AAM, PL-12 medium-range AAM, PL-15 BVR long-range AAM, PL-21 long-range AAM, and the LS-6 precision guided bombs. Many specifications of the new weapon remain unknown as the Chinese military is reluctant to provide details of the J-20. But based on current information and reports, the J-20 is inferior to the Lightning when it comes to armament. And now comes stealth, which is considered to be an important feature today. The F-35 has a lower radar cross-section than the preceding fighter generation due to its shape and use of fiber mats and other radar-absorbent materials. Now, it is also designed to have lower infrared and visual signatures, and it was estimated that the F-35's RCS is at 0.001 square meters depending on the angle of observation. 
Even the J-20, on the other hand, is considered to be the only Chinese stealth aircraft in service. Analysts noted that the J-20's nose and canopy uses a similar stealth shaping design as the F-22, yielding similar signature performance and a mature design at the front. The J-20's wing fuselage joint, critical for beam and all aspect stealth, is in shaping an angle very similar to the F-22. Either ways, from all different sources, experts have revealed that the J-20 is not as stealthy as the F-35. So hence, the F-35 wins again this time. Talking about maneuverability, most pilots who actually fly the F-35 praise its dogfighting capabilities and are actually impressed by its performance. A J-20 stealth fighter testbed equipped with a thrust vectoring engine is also known to exist. The predominant theory in Western circles is that the Chengdu J-20 is exhibiting high speed but inferior maneuverability, making it best suited for hit-and-run style attacks. Yet there has been a debate between these two jets as to who performs better in maneuverability. According to press reports, the F-35's ANAPG-81 active electronically scanned array radar operates in low probability of intercept and low probability of detection modes that minimize the aircraft's signature to comply with its low observable requirements. The radar is optimized for agility, very low noise, high efficiency, and fully supports the low observable nature of the aircraft. Accurate information about the J-20 is scarce and there are indications that the Chinese aircraft is equipped with a phases array radar, a robust electronic warfare systems, and an electro-optical infrared sensor that is similar in concept to the F-35 system. Air Force officials have suggested that the J-20 lacks the sensor fusion and networking to be as effective as the F-22 or F-35. It is unlikely that China can match the flying supercomputer capabilities of the F-35, including sensor integration and networking to improve pilot situational awareness. So this is it guys, that was a comparison of the F-35 Lightning II and the Chengdu J-20. If you've liked the video, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for viewing and bye-bye.